Matterport is a fantastic platform for virtual tour experiences, which we feel is unrivaled in its quality, accuracy and usability. That's not to say Matterport is perfect though. With any new technology, it comes with its challenges and with Matterport becoming more prominent around the world, we thought we'd talk to you today about some of the problems and their solutions. Problem one, direct sunlight. A Matterport camera sends out an infrared signal that bounces off the surrounding surfaces and then back to the camera's sensors. Sunlight has a substantial amount of infrared light, which can interfere with the way the camera senses depth data. This can be even true on cloudy days. This means scanning in or near sunlight can cause alignment errors and poor 3D geometry, which leads to issues when navigating the virtual tour and ultimately a substandard end product. The solution. To overcome this issue, we minimize direct sunlight in indoor spaces by blocking the sunlight with blinds or curtains. If we believe that this isn't a viable option, our team can go to another area and return later in the scan. For outdoor areas where escaping sunlight is near impossible, what we recommend is using the 360 views option. 360 views take a high resolution panoramic image without any 3D data. Because the 360 view does not capture any 3D data, direct sunlight is not an issue. All you need to do on the tour is click on the icon and it will take you to the outdoor space. If getting 3D data for exterior areas is absolutely essential, what we recommend is the use of the Leica BLK360 scanner which is suited to capturing 3D data in direct UV light. Problem two, number of scan limits. To achieve the high quality, accurate 3D virtual tours, the camera needs to capture large amounts of both photographic and 3D data. Unfortunately, if a space is too large, there can be limitations in the maximum number of 3D scans before the project starts to become unwieldy. The solution. The main solution to effectively 3D scan particularly large spaces is to break the space into separate 3D models. These smaller 3D models will be more manageable and can be linked together through our data tags or through our menu button. If it is totally necessary to have a large space as one 3D model, there is a service from Matterport called Stitching. This process involves Matterport manually combining two or more Matterport 3D spaces into one model. It is important to be aware that this is a very time intensive and intricate process, meaning it may take longer to create a final finished 3D tour. Problem three, sensitive or personal information on display. With the high definition quality of Matterport virtual tours, a major factor to consider when capturing different spaces is the private and personal information that could be visible. From legal documents to family pictures, this could obviously be a major concern for any business or homeowner. The solution. Fortunately, there are a couple of key ways to combat this important problem. Firstly, before any Matterport service provider arrives on site, it is important to make sure the space not only looks presentable, but also to ensure that any sensitive data is hidden. Secondly, Matterport also has recently introduced a new tool that can be used to blur any photographs or any sensitive data that may have been missed during the 3D scanning appointment. Finally, we recommend giving the client the chance to review the virtual tour prior to it being published. This way, they can sign off that they are happy with the final product and also confirm there is absolutely no private or sensitive data visible. We hope you found this video helpful and if you would like any further information, please check the link below which takes you to the full blog post where we go into more detail and we also discuss two further problems and their solutions. Thank you for watching and we hope to hear from you soon.